Intro to Top 10 Common Types of Cyber Attacks A cyber attack is an action directed against a computer or any component of a computerized information system with the intent of altering, destroying, or stealing data, as well as exploiting or causing harm to a network. Cyber attacks have increased in recent years, coinciding with the growing popularity of business digitization. While there are dozens of different types of attacks, the following list highlights the 20 most common types of cyber attacks. Top 10 Different Types of Cyber Attacks 1. DOS and DDoS Attacks A denial-of-service attack aims to overwhelm a system's resources to the point where it becomes incapable of responding to legitimate service requests. A distributed denial-of-service attack is comparable in that it aims to drain a system's resources. A DDoS attack is initiated by an attacker's vast array of malware-infected host machines. A DOS attack floods the target site with illegitimate requests. Because the site must respond to each request, the responses consume the site's resources. This makes it impossible for the site to serve users normally and frequently resulting in the site being completely shut down. DOS and DDoS attacks are distinct from other types of cyber attacks in that they allow the hacker to gain access to a system or to increase their current level of access. 2. MITM Attacks Man in the middle, MITM, cyber attacks refer to security flaws that allow an attacker to eavesdrop on data exchanged between two people, networks, or computer systems. The term, man in the middle, attack refers to the attacker's position in the, middle, or between the two parties communicating. In effect, the attacker is eavesdropping on the two parties' interactions. The two parties involved in a MITM attack believe they are communicating normally. What they do not realize is that the person who sends the message modifies or accesses it illicitly before it reaches its intended recipient. To safeguard yourself and your organization against MITM attacks, utilize strong encryption on access points or a virtual private network, VPN. 3. Phishing Attacks A phishing attack occurs when a malicious actor sends emails purporting to be from trusted, legitimate sources to obtain sensitive information from the target. Phishing attacks combine social engineering and technology and are so named because the attacker is essential, phishing, for access to a restricted area using the bait of a trustworthy sender. 4. Whale Phishing Attacks A whale phishing attack is so named because it targets an organization's big fish or whales, which typically include those in the C-suite or other positions of authority. These individuals are likely to have valuable information to attackers, such as proprietary information about the business or its operations. If a targeted whale downloads ransomware, they are more likely to pay the ransom to prevent word of the successful attack from spreading and jeopardizing their or the organization's reputation. 5. Spear phishing attacks. Spear phishing is a subset of targeted phishing. The attacker spends time researching their intended targets and then writes messages that are likely to be personally relevant to the target. These types of attacks are aptly dubbed, spear, phishing due to the attacker's ability to zero in on a single target. Because the message appears legitimate, it can be difficult to detect a spear phishing attack. 6. Ransomware. The victim's system is held hostage by ransomware until the victim agrees to pay the attacker a ransom. After the payment is made, the attacker provides instructions on how to reclaim control of the target's computer. The target of a ransomware attack downloads the ransomware, either from a website or from an email attachment. The malware is designed to take advantage of vulnerabilities that have not been addressed by either the manufacturer of the system or the IT team. Multiple computer infection is frequently accomplished by delaying system capture for days or even weeks after the malware's initial penetration. 7. Password attack. Because passwords are the preferred method of access verification or the majority of people, determining a target's password is an appealing proposition for a hacker. This can be accomplished in a variety of ways. Additionally, an attacker may attempt to intercept network transmissions to obtain passwords that are not encrypted by the network. Additionally, they can use social engineering to convince the target to enter their password to resolve an ostensibly important problem. In other cases, the attacker can simply guess the user's password, especially if they use default or easily remembered passwords such as 1,234,567. 8. SQL Injection Attack 
SQL injection is a common technique for exploiting websites that rely on databases to serve their users. Clients are computers that access information from servers and a SQL attack targets a database on the server via a SQL query sent from the client. The command is injected into the data plane in place of something else that would normally be there, such as a password or login. The database server then executes the command, and the system is compromised. If a SQL injection is successful, a variety of things can happen, including the disclosure of sensitive data or the modification or deletion of critical data. Additionally, an attacker can execute administrative operations such as a shutdown command, which will cause the database to cease functioning. Utilize the least privileged model to protect yourself from SQL injection attacks. 9. URL Interpretation Through URL interpretation, attackers manipulate and fabricate specific URL addresses to gain access to a target's personal and professional data. Additionally, this type of attack is referred to as URL poisoning. The term, URL interpretation, refers to the fact that the attacker is aware of the order in which the URL information for a web page should be entered. The attacker then, interprets, this syntax, determining how to gain access to areas to which they do not have access. 10. DNS spoofing. A hacker uses domain name system, DNS, spoofing to redirect traffic to a bogus or, spoofed, website. Once on the fraudulent site, the victim may be prompted to enter sensitive information that the hacker may use or sell. Additionally, the hacker may create a low-quality website with derogatory or inflammatory content to malign a competitor company. The attacker uses DNS spoofing to take advantage of the user's belief that the site they are visiting is legitimate. Conclusion Cyber attacks are becoming increasingly complex and varied, with different types of attacks being used for each nefarious purpose. While cybersecurity prevention measures vary according to the type of attack, good security practices, and basic IT hygiene are effective at mitigating these attacks.